Third here with the entry of the one and one A one way drink wager by head number and not post position. Drivers change of the four cam station. Adam Rucker. The one is road to wins from post position seven, owned by Mark Brummel of Trenton, New Jersey, trained and driven by Dan Ader. The 1A from post position 8 is King of Flirt, owned and trained by Dan Ader, Clarksburg, Ohio, with Cow Ader. Number 2 from post position 1, VC Jester, owned by Terry Ader and Carvel Simmons of the Buckeye State, trained by Brett Ader with a K-man, King Kaufman. The 3 is Jockey's Tornado from post position 2, owned by Alice Kidd, 11 in Ohio, trained by Perry Lambert, Brett Miller. The four is Cam Sation from post position three, home of the Three Horsemen Stables Incorporated of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by David Stratton with a driver's change to Adam Rucker. The five, Good Enough to Dream from post position four, home by, owned and trained by Anthony Bergano, Vorgon Yoha with Ryan Goldenhand Stall. The six from post position five is Jenna's World, owned by Jane Cummins of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Charles Beaver, Jeff Fount. Number seven from post position six is Samson Three, owned by Equine Insurance Center of Liberty, North Carolina, trained by Calvin Huller with Keith Cash, Jr. On the eight is Gryffindor, owned by the Sterling Brook Farms Incorporated of Sheldonville, Massachusetts, trained by Jim Ortlitz, Jr., Dallas Miller from post nine, Gryffindor. And from post position 10 for the second tier of the nine, LD's Leo, owned by Walls and Broombaugh of Greenville, Ohio, trained by Bruce Walls, Aaron Merriman, Yam the Sulky. That's the field for the fifth race, the sixth leg of the Curly Smart Exacta Trifecta. Field in motion. They're off and pacing and driving away from the outside. There goes Sampson 3 getting the first call here, driving out for command. As they race into the first turn, Sampson 3 from the inside. VC Jester comes away in two. At the rail in third, that is Jockey's Tornado. Caught to the outside and angled at the pylons in fourth. Cam Sation next in line and fifth, good enough to dream. Sixth there, that is Jenna's World, who's wheeling to the outside. Seventh there, that is King of Flirt. Eight on the inside as they race over to the opening quarter. That is Road to wins. Ninth on the inside as they move by the opening quarter in 28 and 1 Feb. On by the stands for the first time in Sampson 3 and Keith Cash Jr. out there on the point leading it by length and a quarter and now rushing over the outside. Here's Jenna's World and Jenna's World with a front side bull rush to the front end here as they step around the clubhouse turn in front of the paddock and on over to the half. On top Jenna's World is clear to the frontier. Sampson 3 is right there in the inside racing in two with separation of three. Racing in third that is VC Jess other halfway home, 57 seconds flat. Off the turn and driving down the back side. The inside and fourth, Jockey's Tornado at the rail in fifth. Cam Sation, sixth along the rail, good enough to dream. Seven to the outside, LD's Leo. Eighth on the inside, that is King of Flirt. The outside of there in ninth, road to wins. And tenth and trailing Gryffindor. They're stepping towards three quarters and on top of the field, Jenna's World, the two-year-old son of world champion, Jenna's Beach Boy, is going to take him to three quarters and one, 26 and four fifth. Backside 29 and 4. On to the front end we go here. On top of the field, Jenna's World to the outside, bearing down. That is Jockey's Tornado. These two are dealing to the top of the stretch. Sampson 3 is looking for racing room. Less than an eighth of a mile to go. And down the stretch they come with a curly smart. On top, Jenna's World to the outside. That's Jockey's Tornado up the inside. Here's Sampson 3, and Sampson 3 has made the untimeliest of breaks there. Gryffindor comes on for a second. Jenna's World 156. Six and two fifths. Jenna's World. Stepping track side of the winner's circle, the unofficial winner of the fifth race, the sixth leg of the Curly Smart. Home a winner at 156 and two fifths for the third win in just four career starts. Here's the six, Jenna's World. A two year old bay called by world champion Jenna's Beach Boy out of a no nukes mare, Forbidden Panet. Owned by Jane Cummins in Lexington, Kentucky. Trained by Charles Beaver. Nicely handled here this evening by winning driver Jeff Fount. The six, Jenna's World, home order in 156 and two. And for driver Jeff Bell, that's two wins on this evening's card, giving him a driving double. Please note the inquiry sign has been withdrawn from the stewards. The stewards have withdrawn. The inquiry sign 683 remains unofficial. It's now official, 683 official. The six, Jenna's World, 242, 20, 240. Second, the eight, Gryffindor, returning 584, 40. Third of the three, Jockey's Tornado, 560. The 6-8 exact is worth $43 even.